Hey, hello. How's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. A little bit of a different format here. Uh, if you had seen my last couple of videos, you had probably heard me say that uh, the goal for this series before Slice and Dice 3.0 comes out is that uh, I was trying to uh, exceed my my good friend Voyix's uh, win streak uh, personal best score. He had gotten a 26 win streak, which is extremely impressive. Very good. And uh, uh, the, the last the last video, we ended at 25 uh, wins. So I went and did a live stream. And, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil things. Let, let me just say, I, I think it'll be a really enjoyable watch. If you don't like the live stream format too much, I understand. Don't worry. You'll have to kind of just bear with it. Um, you're going to see a picture of me in the bottom right corner. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think... I think it was maybe not the best I've ever played Slice and Dice, but at least some of it was like the the best I think I've ever played this game, and it was just really good. And um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully you guys are both doing well, you and Mary. Um, let's see who else, who else, who else, who else. Zips, Zips, hi, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well today. Uh, Luke. Last day at 2.0, gotta beat Voyix's streak. That's and listen. If we don't beat the streak, I'm okay. I've just I've just had fun getting here in the first place. So that's pretty cool. That is, I'm already I'm already pretty happy. We could lose this next run. I wouldn't even be the slightest slightest bit angry. Beating him would be and honestly, you know. I don't know. If I if I if I beat Voyix, I, I actually also don't think I wouldn't care that much either way. He's just a good friend that I appreciate. And it doesn't matter which one of us has the higher Slice and Dice 2.0 win streak. What matters is which one of us has the highest 3.0 win streak. Because that's where it's going to matter. That's where it's really going to matter. Is who has the highest 3.0 win streak. And I'm going to uh, get his ass. That is the plan. Uh, Attack Bomb, can you be angry uh, for you? For me? Who are we being angry for? Um, maybe did I miss a message? Oh, if you lose, oh, sure, you can be angry. I guess I don't know. I wouldn't, but uh, I think it'd be fine. Oh, dude, I, I you know what sucks? I do, I do want to talk about my D and D character because I think I made a pretty, a pretty banger character. But I spec her might still be lingering, and let's just say there's some secret. He, he is aware that my character has some secrets. But he doesn't know what they are, so uh, I don't. I don't want to reveal them here. But maybe, maybe, maybe when the campaign ends, it would be a cool story to tell or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Um, four ten of the lazy square is uh, also to be lazy. True. Um, you guys want to play the game? I did start the stream very much late, so we do kind of have to get into this here. We don't have much time to get two games in. We have enough time. We can delete that a little bit, but like we do need to play the game, so that way we can we can beat Voyix. Now, I did the math on this. I was I was, I was crunching some numbers here, right? Currently at the twenty five win streak, with a seventy five percent win rate. The odds of this are already incredibly low. We're at like a I think I think the, the math was like a point. 0.7% chance of winning 25 runs in a row with a 75% a win rate. So again, like I'm not kidding. This is the this is the run of my life here in Slice and Dice for sure. Um and again, if we like I I really don't care if we lose. It's fine. Um it would be neat, but doesn't matter. Um so let's play. Let's get in here. Let's see what our first setup is oh tnt master you know what I, I should have actually you know what tnt master i i hate to do this i'm gonna refund the music request there is a very good chance that this vod ends up going on youtube and youtube does not like copyrighted music so it, it, you could you could post the link if other people want to see it but i'm going to probably refund this and and turn off the music requests for for today's stream because yeah i mean uh, this is assuming we win. If I lose, I'm not fucking showing my face on YouTube again ever again. 
It's over. The streams for what, one game only? Probably, probably two, just one. Also, hello, just one. Probably two. One to tie Voyix, one to beat Voyix. That is the plan. I I considered. I considered naming today's stream. Uh. Uh, what's the? Oh, I forget what the name was again. Too. I, I struggled last time. You know the movie where it's it's like the four. I think it's like four girls and they're all dating the same guy and they don't realize it and then they're like they all realize and they want to kill him. I wanted to make the title based on trying to kill Voyix, but I'm pretty sure that might violate some Twitch TOS rules. So I I decided not a good idea. Also, for some reason, I cannot get the reward or the review, the queue here to open up. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it was giving me such a hassle here. Where is the music requests? Music requests. There we go. Dude, so many people have done the music requests. It's like one of the most redeemed options besides like bad boys and illegal buttons. It's one of the most redeemed options and it's pretty expensive too. I think that's interesting. Anyway. Uh, Team Team Master, you've been given your points back and I will now turn it off for the day as well. Hold on. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Okay. We're all good. Everything is finally actually ready to go now. We're finally ready to do it. TNT, you know what, TNT Master? I feel like as a as a good customer service agent for my own Twitch channel, I will next stream, or maybe maybe uh, if we have time afterwards, TNT Master. If we have time afterwards, or if uh, we don't have time next stream, we will listen to this song for free. Once you're here, obviously. So there you go. You have to say I want to kill Voyix in Minecraft. It's John Tucker. Is isn't it John Tucker must die? I wanted it to be Voyix 64 must die. <laughs> That's what it was. But um, yeah, I decided against it. Uh, what are we doing here? What are we doing? I think this is a pretty good skip. I don't love any of these curses. They're all pretty terrible curses. Um Armor, armor turn one is the least worst of these, but we also have student as a starting character, which is a pretty big stinker. So I think here it's just a reroll. Try again. And we get add wisp. Add wisp is considered by most people to be one of the easiest curses in the entire game. Getting it here, pretty lucky. So we'll take this. And I like our starting team here too. This is a this is a I would say exceptional start. Obviously, you know. Plenty of time to still throw. We'll see how it goes. I think the first move we do is probably kill the thorns here with the fighter. You know, block up. And then we could go for a cut on Acolyte here. And do a burst to get the kill. Now we're just in a 1v1 with a wolf. Should be pretty easy. Should be uh, pretty, pretty easy. Hmm... Wolf wins these? Maybe. It is possible. We'll take the Vitality heal here. That's fine. Beyond that, give me a shield. And then... Thief? Yeah. I'm surprised. I'm not, I'm not too surprised. I, I've known Voyix doesn't like Thief very much. I'm definitely a little higher on Thief than he is, though. I think in the early game, this character pretty reliably will roll two damage. Obviously, three blanks. You miss sometimes, but not very often. So, I like Thief, but it is a little annoying when it misses. Hmm. Druid's a little clunky with Cultus, but is overall a pretty strong tier 2 red. I'm pretty sure it's what we want here. Pretty sure it's the one we want, especially in this combat with, you know, three rats. Should make it pretty easy to kind of just chip these guys down. And, uh, yeah. Spider, we can we can try to high roll on a little bit more here. Other than that, we're just looking for mana. Also, a bit of a synergy with cultist and druid. We we, we pain and then we heal. Thief is the most tier one character out there. I think that's that's pretty fair, fair and accurate. I agree. He is very tier one. We definitely go for a balance here. I think we're supposed to kill the wisp. And next turn. Should be pretty easy. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I am just the luckiest man on the planet. 
I don't know what's going on. Maybe I can just get the best curses every single game. That is lethal. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oop. There we go. Compass versus Courage Potion. Very interesting choice here. Io, shalom. Shalom to you as well. How's it going? Hopefully, hopefully you are good. Um. Now oh, the Courage Potion is fine. In theory, Wisp is uh, the most difficult. Like, the Curse is the most difficult in the early game because it's just five extra HP if they chunk through at the beginning of the game. In the grand scheme of things, not too bad. I'm okay with taking a compass here, I think. Absol, is that? Crack, hold on. Crack a knack. I, I, I give up, actually. I give up. Absol, it's me. Hello. Hi. Hi, you're wrecking idiots in Yomi Hustle. And then what happened? Did you run into a Michael Jackson again? Uh, I guess we can, whatever. Here you go, thief. Have a compass. Kids not understanding how frame advantage works. They do sometimes just hit buttons and lose, huh? Okay, we'll settle here on fighter. Hey, Thief, you know what? You'll get him next time, bud. I believe in you. Oh, we just killed a crone here. We can even cut here, too. I don't hate that, but we should probably cut on fighter. So that way Buckle keeps pristine. I think that'll be okay. Hmm. Like this with, look with the hat, Zation. I do think the hat has been an overall uh, look. This is not looks maxing. I don't know. I don't know what looks maxing actually is, but I'm pretty sure this is not it. But oh, I'm gonna fucking die, aren't I? Okay. Unfortunately, Druid does, or Cultist doesn't get to do his big move here unless we burst first. No, that's not very worth it. But it's overall fine. We still win here pretty easily. I guess technically we can do burst into this. And then we can do even like a cut here. We have three mana going into the next turn. I think this is like a little bit better. But I don't know. Looks smining. Does anyone know what that means? I don't know what he's talking about. Well, this is not a hard choice. <laughs> I'll be honest with that, that one. Pretty easy choice there. Looks minning. Oh. Rude. <laughs> I didn't realize I was being insulted. Thank you. Thank you, Io. Thank you, Attack Bomb, for letting me realize that I was, I was being attacked. Mm. It would have been much cooler if I won with Cleric. Luke, you're not wrong. It would have been pretty cool if I had been given, like, one of the freest curses in the game. And I was like, you know what? Fuck that. Give me give me the cleric here. And you know what? I did defend cleric a little bit in the tier list video. I think there's some people out there who unfairly have it out for the cleric. Personally. We definitely do this. Struggler Lizzie's is fine. Can you imagine look on Voix's face if you carry Cleric to floor 20 and beat his streak with it? Well, again, to clarify, right now this run is to tie his streak. If we win this run, it's a tie. Right? We're not at we're not at a win yet. Um it would be, I think, hilarious though. I think that'd be very, very haha -ha funny. Um I guess we settle here. Now that we have the, the pristine side, we can roll a better... Okay, fuck me, I guess. We could have rolled a, a better pain side on Cultus, but I guess not today. We do just have lethal anyway, so it doesn't matter. Can we can we maybe lie to Voix and just say I took Cleric here? Uh, if he if he if he shows up at like the point where the tier threes are in, are on the team, can we all can we all agree to that right now, real quick? No. Can we all agree to that real quick? Can we all agree that we're going to lie to Voix? You can Photoshop it? Hell yeah. There we go. Okay, hold on. Uh, I don't like Slice. It's a pretty... It's, I mean, it's, it's literally a worse spell than Balance right now. So not that useful. Silver Imp. 
I mean, maybe there's some world where we can do some sort of cool compass silver imp thing right now, but it, I don't think we're in that world. I think it's random here instead. Is that your sniping on Star Stardew update day? Kayla, have you been playing the Stardew update? And how good is it? Don't worry. I, 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 I unshot them already, Kayla. Don't worry. I am not taking this challenge for an incense. No, thank you. No, thank you. It's great. Lots of little improvements, additions, quality of life things. Did they add more people to be horny about? This is the most important thing about Stardew Valley, I'm pretty sure. Apparently, yes. Yo, they're goaded. Concerned ape, he is a beast. Okay, we try this again. Maybe we can get some shields here. Oh, we get plenty of shields. Nice. I think we actually... Hold on. Do this first. Then we heal, then we shield. Okay, very good turn for us. That's later in the game. You started a new farm. I don't think I have ever successfully started a new farm. Or I, I don't think I've ever successfully gotten back into Stardew. And then I, what am I trying to say here? I don't think I've ever gotten back into Stardew uh, without starting a new farm. I think I've made a couple attempts. Oh, no, he's fucking here. Everyone, everyone, we rehearsed the lie. Tell Voyix about which character we had before, probably. Tell him the lie. Ignore the buckle currently here. Tell him the character that is definitely currently on this team right now. Wizard? No! <laughs> Not wizard! Oh, yeah, I took Cleric, exactly. We took Cleric this run. I, I, I'm... I mean, you can make the argument that Buckle is an upgrade to Cleric, I suppose. That is, that is in some circles, probably a better character. Depending on who you ask. Okay, we'll cut here. Last turn, he runs. Yeah, we got pretty lucky, Voyix. Run number 26 here. Assuming we win this, we got Add Wisp as our curse. Pretty cool. Who takes Cleric anyway? Molly, you gotta stop doing this. Molly, what is Cleric's spell? <laughs> Molly, what is Cleric's spell in this game, Slice and Dice? Rizmongus? Not a terrible guess, Molly. It was a trick question. Cleric doesn't have a spell. So, once again, the joke is on you. Uh, we can't We can't take Statue here. I hate Whirl, but I am not taking Statue. Uh, not happening. It's not terrible on this team. We have a lot of spread damage with Juggler. We have a lot of spread damage with the world now. Hopefully, we can just kill everyone. That'd be pretty cool. Ryan, we streaking? Yes, we are, in fact, streaking. And you may be interested to know, Ryan, that I am close to, to tying your good friend Voyix69 here. If I win this run, we are officially equals in the world of Slicey and Dicey. Attack Bomb, hear you out. Did you want me to take statue there for some godforsaken reason? <laughs> you think world's bad enough to pick statue? I don't go that far. I think I think statue with no synergy is is worse with than a Yeah, I'm pretty confident it's just worse. You are I, I agree here. I think world is not so bad where you take a, a no synergy statue play. That's a little extreme for me. What's not extreme is Buckle actually doing amazing work with our cultist here. He has been absolutely beating ass today. That's good. I guess we just cut the wisp here too. And now we just kill one goblin and the game is over. We don't have silver imp. I did skip the silver imp. What did I get instead of the silver imp? It's something pretty good, right? Oh, I got the regen potion, which is not that good, but it's whatever. Better than a better than a silver imp, I think, on average. But I don't know. Maybe I am wrong. Either way, goodbye, goblin. This guy doesn't understand you can't streak without a trench coat. Mm. Don't most modern streakers not even 
like do it naked. Wasn't there the whole thing with the uh, the the Super Bowl streaker, where he just wasn't even naked? He just streaked at the Super Bowl and then and then bet money on if there would be a streaker there. What a what a like a, a baller move by the way. What an actual like just genius hustle. I'm pretty sure I take the, the the random tier three here. I don't see rejuvenation wand being that useful to us today. Maybe there's a world where it's, it's good on whirl here. I don't know. I oil streaking collab with mango when. I I I don't think Mango would be I don't think Mango would like me very much. I I don't think and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't I I if I had to guess, I think if me and Mango were best friends that uh that he would not f like me. I think I'd be pretty I I I'm pretty neutral towards Mango. I think he's pretty cool. I respect him as a competitor. But his shenanigans are a little annoying sometimes. Also, you've given me a tower shield. Are you kidding me, game? I thought we were. I thought we were sick today, game. You gave me. You gave me wisp. Now you gave me tower shield here. That's that's fucked up. Why? I, I don't know. I'm just not. A, I'm not. I'm not a big mango fanboy. If if me, you're telling me me right now. I gotta pick a. I gotta pick a melee player that I'm fanboying for. It's probably. It's probably Zane or J Mook. J Mook just because he's a he's a fucking you know, cool ass viber. And he's very dreamy and cool. Um, and then Zane, because he's just kind of a beast. And I like Marth. Just have all your kids to be 7 HP. Almost there. Yeah, it is pretty... It's not the worst thing right now. But yet we have to keep them at 7 HP too then. You've exposed Cash as a Fortnite player in Puzzles and Survival. Dude, it's so... It's so... Hear, hearing about... Cash and, and CS playing puzzles and survival is so funny. I'm very excited to see how that goes. Would I streak with Zane uh, and Jmook? If they asked, probably. I don't think they would ask, though. I don't think... You know what the problem... Ultimately, the problem is that I'm probably just not good enough at melee for them to want to streak with me. Now, if they, if they cared about PM... Now, PM, maybe that I, I'd be good enough then. Hard to say. Okay, we overkill here to get the bandit to run. That's a pretty easy line there. Mm, you have no idea why you're asking this. I don't know. I think I think you're just trying to figure out which melee players I like more than anything, which is a fine question to ask. But you're just, you're just wrapping it in a funny narrative. Uh, give me the knight here. I don't want seer on this team. This is not a seer focused team here. Knight is pretty decent. It's just a better buckler. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty easy pick. Oh, and then the tower shield, easy. They just reset. Oof, Molly, rough. Hmm. World keeps rolling the three damage move here, which is pretty good news for us. The rest of you gotta maybe pick up some slack here. Or not, that's pretty good too. It might be time to pop the regen potion here. I think I think the ladies is a, is a pretty reasonable fight to be like, hey, I'm kind of scared here. Also, of course, drink up ladies. How could I how could I forget? Uh I think we do shield here. Heal here. Play it like so. That's pretty good. You think if you kill one of the ladies here in the clear? Yeah, but I don't... We do kill one of the ladies here, but I don't even care about the regen potion too much. I'd rather just be safe here. I, I do feel like Wisp is definitely an easy curse, but it's also a front-loaded curse, right? Anything that adds a guaranteed monster is a curse that is... Harder in the beginning of the game and easier in the later game, right? So if we, like, I don't know, something terrible goes wrong next turn and we miss a bunch of rolls, uh, I think things go pretty badly. Not not definitely, but... It's just the regen potion. It's not worth that much anyway. We're actually very in the clear here. Maybe I was... Maybe, maybe I'm playing a little too scared. I got the win streak on the line here. 
this is a thing that uh sean actually talked about a lot in his uh in his uh what's it called his kaizo ironmon guide right you have to make plays that give you the best win percent chance even if in like the short term they seem like you know kind of scary usually it's just you know there is just a correct way to play anyway and this we probably didn't need the regen here you're right. I don't think I'm right here. I th I think we win this fight without the regen potion. But it's interesting to think about is all. Chat. I you don't want to talk to me? That's fine. Whatever. You know, it's it's what I don't care. I'm not upset. Uh, empty chalice here is a pretty easy pickup. Imagine an onion. Oh, you fuck me. Okay. You imagine imagine your fun onion. Or whatever. Imagine an owl. Yeah, imagine an owl. This is a pretty good turn for uh, balance here from the druid as well. The actual thing is regen potion will never make an impact on the run. Probably not. But what when it does, though... Dude, if I, I, I wish I had gotten the... Uh, I told you about it, I'm pretty sure, before, before Voyx. I had the, uh, not Helm of Power, Brimstone. I had Brimstone with the other healing potion. The one that has, like, base 10 by default or whatever. Or is it base 20? I forget what it was. But I had, like, a, a build where if I could have, if I wanted to, had a 64 cleanse uh, potion. Uh, and it was bad. But if I had also had Icker Chalice... How cool would have had a, it? It would have been the coolest thing ever in this game. I feel like to just nuke a boss down with Icker Chalice, with a with a regen or with a with a cleanse potion, whatever it's called. I think it would have been like just genuinely the coolest thing ever. But alas, here we are. Oh fuck the wisp! Hold on, hold on a second. We need to we need to do things in a specific order here. Oh no! No, no matter what we do, we're fucked because we can't get the empty chalice because of. Oh, no, we can maybe balance into burst here. Hold on. Yeah, we can balance into burst. That's fine. Mm. Molly Cosmo just said, I don't know if I can let a Fortnite player join your rallies. That's fucked up. That is messed up that he would judge cash like that. Alex Jones. We, I, I will say, Molly, if we if we use Alex Jones in our. By the way, Molly, they, the the presentations are kind of secret, so don't don't tell too much about you know what I revealed. But um, if we decide to use Alex Jones, I do like the pun. I will credit you for sure. Scott, am I a slicer or a dicer? I feel like I would be a slicer. If I had my choice between the two, I th I think I am a slicer. Really interesting choice here. I'm pretty confident the correct pick here is Caldera. Glacier is a very good blue character, but Caldera has really good synergy with Druid right now. Spread damage into Scald is very powerful. We also just generally lack damage on this team, especially with Whirl here. Right? So I think Caldera sures things up here. Oh, and also the Whirl synergy too. I, I'm pretty sure it's a Caldera pick. It is scary to skip Glacier though with 9 HP here. Going into a Spiker Fanatic fight. If a Fanatic high rolls and Spiker like single targets here, it could be pretty bad for us. Druid Caldera is like three turns out from casting the combo. That is true. But I, I just I just mean in the sense more so Voyx that like Drew I mean obviously this the 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 balance if you can get it. Maybe maybe balance is more impactful on like wider spread fights where it's worth getting it in three turns. I think the idea is more so that it's just it's just good mana generation. Either way. This is the Caldera team. It is, you know what? It is actually pretty much the Caldera team. Would, would you guys say that, that Herbalist is a better healer for Caldera? I'm not sure. Because you can get pretty, you can get pretty consistent Scalds, like full team Scalds with Herbalist. Because the rest of the team will do the damage usually. And then Herbalist will do like, you know, one or two more vines before you Scald just to get the last couple people, uh, ticked so this is what i was kind of worried about but the fanatic low rolls we should be pretty fine here 
I am worried about Juggler hitting into uh, Spiker here. I think we might actually just keep them. We get to just kill the Wisp here. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I think we might just go more defense here, actually. You think we would have actually clicked Lacia there? I think it's definitely close. I like the Caldera for this team, though. I think one thing to keep in mind, Voyage, is that we do have a pretty uh, beefy team as well, right? It's not, like, super crazy. But we have a, you know, Druid 7 HP, Knight 8 HP, Whirl 7, Juggler 7. Caldera having only 6 HP, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. We have pretty good de defense. We should be able to stall out here. Not even stall out. We should be able to not let Caldera just get murdered. You feel like Leisha just scales longer if you get stuck on her forever? Oh, that is true. Juggler can also do the spread damage. I, I don't know. I You know what? I think the thing is that Druid is not that good for this team, but I think overall we're, we're looking pretty good here. I don't know. Your honor, shut the fuck up. You weren't even there. Absol, anyone know what this guy's talking about? You wonder if the itch update will still have the dot apk like before scott i don't know what you're saying to me right now this is like this is a this is a, maybe a question for someone who knows what computers are sorry to say not currently your guy for that one okay so someone someone i believe is probably dying this turn sorry to say someone's not seeing the next rush hour movie here that person's a whirl which is a little scary. Mm. They all roll their 1x. Sometimes that's how it goes. We should still win here. Unless the spiker keeps taking people out one by one. Okay, we're okay. We survived this. We have lethal here. I hope we do. Hold on. We do not currently have lethal. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, so here's here's the real issue now. Juggler's gonna die next turn. <laughs> Juggler is going to die next turn. I mean, not a hundred percent chance, but pretty good odds. Oh, you know what? we can balance. I think we balance here just to make sure Juggler doesn't die, because we should should have lethal next turn. Oh no, wait, no, I'm stupid. Hold on. The the reflect damage is two. For some reason, I was just doing it as pain. Juggler still does die. Juggler, just roll the shield, please. If you don't mind. Juggler, just shield me. She cares. She doesn't want to die. There we go. Very good. Very cool. Hmm. Might be a blue fast track to tier three angle. I don't know. I, I think I think the 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 what's it called is pretty good here. I think Caldera is just gonna be sick for us. Also, CS, hello. I'm sorry for the node raid notification. Unfortunately, there are still terrorists uh, among us who may just spam raids as soon as someone gives them the idea. So maybe one day we'll have the notification back. I need to fix it though. It still is. I I don't like the notification actually, just in general. I need to get a new one. Or I need to make a new one. You wasn't you weren't listening. What do I think on this pick? I haven't really said it yet, Voyx. I don't like the pick in general. Not the biggest fan here. Uh, I th I think that we do not. I I me me. I don't like Beam. Me don't like Beam. I think it's a tankard, and I think you're upset about it. I think I don't think he's three random tier twos. Like what are we what are we digging for here? That's a really good tier two for us right now. I forgot we had the empty chalice this whole time. You like beam enough to pick? I dislike them both. I think Tankard's fine. I think the, the secret for Tankard here is you put it on Whirl. And then you hope that someone gets poisoned so we can do a big AoE here. Beyond that, I don't know what we're doing with this. Mm. It will never hit, you don't think? I don't think so either. But I I don't know. Maybe we'll get a good combo with it later. Maybe we'll see. 
I don't know. Venom, that's it? I don't know. The random tier 2s might seem useful. The others seem unlikely to pop up. Rather roll, roll for Curse Bolt. You know what, Voyx? I will accept... I, I will accept your advice on this one. I've been convinced. Because I do think these are both pretty bad here. And there's just a bunch of random tier 2s that are pretty good right now for us. So... We'll see what happens. I think this is actually quite a bit better. I think this is actually significantly better. Now, we don't have Citrine Ring value currently, but I think I would have just taken the Citrine Ring over the other two choices there, given the chance. Yeah, and we have the gloves too. We just need to get something in the, the, the far right slot now. And we should be good. Tankard plus Doctor. That's a criminal sentence right there. Hmm... You know, you know, Molly, Mary might know about the, the, or he might not know about the whole thing of me being a small little bean. I don't know if he's familiar with that one. Either way, we go in here. I don't know how we handle this zombie. It's kind of, it's kind of very spooky, honestly. We have no real way to actually deal four damage on this team, huh? Oh, I guess we could, we could do the Caldera cruel hit. World has this unlock. Do you think the strat here is just to kill everyone except for the zombie right now? Like, kill the slimers, maybe? I don't know. Let's keep rolling these. I guess stack up the cruel growth. What? Oh, the druid. Druid. Okay. I got you. Yeah, is a, that is, in theory, a line. I don't like it. But I think it is definitely a thing we could do here. You son of a bitch. Did you... Did you... You x me twice, Juggler. Juggler. I'm gonna send you back to the circus. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you hit Slimer once. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Don't... Do not check the replay. Do not check the replay. Um... This wasn't too bad of a turn, though. Did we just kill Zombie? Maybe. I don't know. This turn, we just had the cleanse for the zombie anyway. I guess the zombie is just doing more damage per turn, huh? Okay, I think we get the exert here. That's very nice. Maybe settle on that. Maybe take a cleave here. Let's look at things for a moment. Let's evaluate. Everyone is damaged, so Scald here goes pretty hard. And maybe Juggler just dies. If we, if we, yeah, no, we, we kind of have to kill. I guess we could do this into this. How does this look currently? Yeah, Juggler's going to die no matter what. Just unfortunate. Mm. Is there something I'm not seeing here? Maybe. Is it possible to scald after splitting the slimes? Simply Jeef, hello. Hi. Uh, maybe, let's, you know, I didn't think about that. Let's look at it here for a second. Um, Not really, it's not realistic, at least I don't think, because we have the, well, I guess we could do this. No, we could do, we could actually get one slime split, but we can't put damage on it really is the problem. So we don't really get much scald value out of it. How does balance look here? Balance can't be good here, I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly confident that's not the line. This is kind of close to something here, though, too, but we're still a little bit short. Mm, what does the one mana do here? Oh, uh, you think you... I mean... Well, we need we need three mana to get the, the initial Scald off. We could look for, We could look for, like, a one damage here. On Caldera for sure. I don't think that changes much though. You realize we have the Monster Pristine team? This is a very good curse for Monster Pristine, unfortunately. Not the curse we're dealing with here. You could have killed Slimer back there. Oh, you're responding to Io about the Druid. Oh. What if we roll mana on Druid? Um That's a good point. That's a good point. Let's let it let us look at that for a moment, right? So let's go. Let's see here. 
Let's just put the, the Scald down first, right? Kill you, kill you. It does actually save them both. We can get two damage out here via mana or via damage. We do, we do kill the Slimer here. However, if we whiff, if we whiff, we do lose both of them. It's pretty good. Only one X. There's three positives here. We're supposed to go for this, I'm pretty sure. It's just not fun to go for this, but I'm pretty sure we are supposed to go for it. I think, I think Io is correct. You get two Scalds. Oh, we do get the second Scald off of the Wisp, actually, too. That's crazy. Okay. You think if you roll this, you uh, you miss and die? It's a one in six. I don't miss this. Don't worry. Easy. Sometimes it is just that easy, Voyix. We definitely put this here. 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 There we go. Easy fight. I have good, 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 uh, good spot on that one. That was a really, that was a really good play. You're just a god. It was a good, it was a good call. Hmm. It with night exerted. If you roll an X, you actually just lose out. Probably. Huh. Surgeon's not the citrine citrine rain we were looking for here. It's not like the it's not like the oh we really need this play. Cause we 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 take the ring, we put it, we put it on here, and we get the gloves. And then it's 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 a it's a six heal up here versus like the it's it's, it's an upgrade for sure. You think you always sack juggler there? Sometimes Voyage's gotta be built different though. And it's just it's just a it's a it's a one in six to miss. And a 50-50 to, to just crush the round, pretty much. How do you make your gecko like you more? Probably feed it like cool little bugs, right? Probably just give it little bug guys. That should that should do the trick, I imagine. What do geckos usually eat? Is it just is it just crickets? That, that seems like what a gecko would eat to me, I feel like. Uh I don't know. I think Surge is a pretty safe pickup here. Okay with that. We can do this into this here. It doesn't look too bad. Although the shield sides are better on turn one. And Baron is very spooky. You know what? With the fact that Baron has damage output, I think we maybe just don't even play the gloves then. We might just need a big shield on turn one. We might need like steel shield and heal and shield two on turn one to keep someone alive. Mm. How much value do you really get at juggler being full HP here? It's a good point. I mean, we don't know the boss too. Maybe there's a boss where it's really important that juggler is full HP, although I don't think so. Nothing comes to mind really. CS, you're back with food. How is the streak going? The streak is going pretty well. Uh, this is the first run of today, though. We're still at uh, 25 wins right now. So if we win this, we tie Voyix. Who even is here other than Baron? It's Baron. It's Baron. Hold on. Don't, I'm not cheating. Hold on. It's Baron. It's... Uh... Who else is here, man? Isn't this fucker here? No. I think this fucker's here, right? It's the it's Lich and Rotten. Aren't these three jabronis the ones that are here? Oh, Bell as well. Bell. Wait, is Bell is Bell not here? Where's Bell then? Is Bell earlier? Is Bell the level eight boss? Level eight, okay. Um I think we go in with the shields for this fight. I think shields are maybe a little bit more important. We also do not have a good way to kill uh, ghosts here, I must say. Which is not great news. I think the juggler is dead as shit. <laughs> I do not think juggler makes it out of this turn here. Uh, so I guess juggler, it didn't matter how much HP they had. They're just dead. The ghosts have decided their turn to die. Mm. I think we take this. 
I guess take a cleave here. I think I, did I skip the, uh, the AoE before? I'll settle for cleave this turn. It's whatever. Well, should have kept the shield side here. Because now we could have maybe saved Juggler. Instead, we just saved the Surgeon. It's whatever. We break your ghost. We can't even break, dude. This, this actually might be death. This is a really bad start going into this fight. Hmm. This feels like a real mismatch for this squad. It is not a great composition for us, no. There could be some issues. Whirl, Whirl is terrible in this fight. Although Whirl does get to kill this ghost here, which is very good news for us. That's a pretty that's a pretty sick one. I think we go burst into scald here. Into burst to stop the summon. I think we've kind of recovered now. I think from this position, we should be okay here. Hopefully. Thankfully, no poison rolls. Well, we stopped this poison roll from happening, so I'm not too worried. You did kind of jinx us a bit there, though, unfortunately. Why am I rolling the shield here? We don't need a shield. We're killing this ghost for sure. I should have taken the exert damage here. And now, here I am. I guess we get to just heal someone, though, which is not terrible. If he just keeps summoning bones, this, this looks pretty good for us, I think. We can get cleave into, like, scald... Into kill one of the bones with the, ma of the uh, magic attack here. Okay, this is very good. Holy crap, this luck. Did you not see the first turn where it was not so lucky? Okay. We don't have lethal, right? We're like a little bit short here. Yeah, we're almost... Not quite, but almost there. I have. I don't think I've used my empty chalice once this entire damn game. Maybe next time. Okay, world's getting murdered, but I think we should pretty easily have lethal here. Uh, world, do the world thing, please. World, don't fucking do this to me. Do the world thing, you son of a bitch. I hate you, man. <laughs> this fucking guy. This fucking piece of shit. We can, we can, we can do, we can still kill the Baron here. It's actually pretty easy. But it would have just, the fight would be over if he just did the world thing. Asshole. And maybe we can get a scald in there somewhere. I just want I just want to move on. Oh, I should have I should have I should have burst it for empty chalice. Empty chalice is so bad. I think it's good if you're smart. And I am unfortunately not smart enough, apparently. I have taken my dumb pills today. You have to excuse me. Is your favorite character world who refuses to world rel relatable? Molly, unfortunately, I really can't call you out on this one because you can just say he whirls, and you're right. That is what he does. So there's no there's no gotcha question here, I guess. But you're on thin ice. Be careful. Uh, Blood Amulet doesn't look terrible here. I mean, Juggler looks terrible because I'm pretty sure Juggler's just going to juggle her way into a thorn right now. Which is not great. Hmm... I do imagine that world just spins around and fights. That, that's uh, probably about right. Gotcha. Not not that gotcha. I'm, t I'm talking Sarah Palin gotcha. So here's, here's my thought right now. Blood Amulet, I think, is overall better than Wrench. I think that's a better item. Because plus one on your middle is not terrible. But there are some characters that really like having self-heal on these two sides. So I think I'm I think I'm kind of a blood amulet player here. You think you go random? Nah, I like amulet. I think wrench is better than a random here too. Hmm. I'll go amulet. Although, ugh, you know what? Actually, when I think about it more, we kind of don't have a great amulet team here. Or we don't have a great blood amulet. Yeah, we don't have a great amulet team here because none of our characters actually have high dice sides on their their left. I guess it's. It's no matter what, it's always pretty good on Surgeon. Putting putting heal on these sides is pretty good. I think we can take it. Random is wax seal. It would be nice if that was true. But it's not, and we both know it. How about this here for now? Also not terrible on night. Pretty cool here too. Kind of just keeps night alive pretty well. 
Oh, the pristine is, is 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 effectively as far as we're concerned a three heal. I actually think I like this more for the time being. So we have this as well as an option. Stick it on juggler so uh, he can s survive the fight. The problem is that even if we roll the two damage side cantrip into a thorn, juggler dies with the heal. Right? It's five reflect damage. So I'm I'm assuming that juggler is just probably dead this fight. So I, th I think Juggler's in the Vortex right now. So I don't think we want to put the heal on Juggler. Unless we get lucky. If we get lucky and Juggler rolls one, a shield or an X here, we could maybe get Knight to, to do a, a... I don't even know what... I mean, it would be Surgeon healing, I guess, more than anything. We'll see how it goes. It's only if it hits first roll, though. It's decent odds. But even then, the problem is that... It, let's say, for example, first roll, it doesn't hit one of the Thorns. We do need to heal it. <coughs> and I don't know. We put leather gloves on Whirl. That way it has to lock in. It would be funny. It would be funny to really tell him to step the fuck up, Whirl. Do it. But I don't think we're gonna do that today. That's a little that's a little too a little too silly for me. I'm just trying to look up for your boy Juggler. I like Juggler. I think Juggler is unfortunately just in the Vortex right now. And I think we just got to acknowledge that hopefully she'll come out. But if she doesn't, it is what it is. Okay, this is actually probably pretty good here. We do need to keep Surgeon alive this turn, though. I forgot about the plan. And, uh, yeah. That's not great. I think, though, this isn't too bad. You get to do this into this into this. And it's, not, it's, it's not good. Could have been worse. Could have been better. I think we'll get some pretty good Scald value here. This is looking really tough. I'm not actually that worried this combat. Scald kills the Sniper for us. I think we're actually pretty okay here. And I believe... We'll probably do this... Do we just kill the thorn here? The double targeting on a surgeon is not very good news for us. I must say. Lol order. Oh, you want to put like a shield here first, maybe? Shield into into hit the thorn. Into oh, this is the lol order. Okay. Yeah, lol order. That that's the order. That's the order. Hold on. Hold on. Boom, boom. Okay. We should win this. We should win this. Although Surgeon is not long for this world here, I must say. Uh that's like pretty close to lethal here, right? I'm sure. Scald. Yeah, okay. We get there. A little dubious, but we get there. Caldera's cruel side makes you so happy. It is a very good side, for sure. It's been helping us quite a bit. I am so happy to see you here, Bash. I talked a little shit during the tier list video. I'm so happy to see you right now. I need to get this fucker off my team. <laughs> I'm so sick of this man sabotaging us. Thank you. Okay. Still no real good leather glove value here yet. Although, maybe at this point we do do the Citrine Ring here. Because of the Juggler's damage, we, so we, we get decent value out of it. We roll it over the shield. I don't know. Bash, your beloved. Bash is pretty good here. Unfortunately, almost certainly a bald character, which is not good news. Just, I mean, we can, t we can tell. Pray for Brother Wizard. Do we have, like, crazy wizard, wizard synergy right now? Like, what are we... Oh, Citrine Ring into Leather Gloves is pretty good on, on Wizard. That's not terrible. Anyway. Let me in. Okay, not the worst rolls ever here. We... Oh, we go crazy. We go crazy. Look at that. Look at that turn one. That's with two X's right now. Holy, okay. So, what else you guys got for me here today? 
Okay, six shield. It doesn't really help too much, I don't think. But uh, you know what? Actually, I'm realizing I don't want to risk the juggler like hitting the bandit with like a two damage cantrip here, because then we can't we can't do this. Because it's not the most healed unit or whatever. I think we have to be a little bit careful. The tiny the tiny is a bit careful about that here. But otherwise, we're looking pretty good. You need people wearing helmets or ball because everyone can see their huge hideous head deformity. I don't know. I, I just think that specifically this helmet gives me bald energy. That's just my thoughts. If, if you don't agree, you're, you're allowed to have an opinion. I can't stop you. Oh, let me put this here, actually. Scald. Kill. Johnny, hello. The new 3.0 trailer looks sick, and Captain and Prince looks poggers. I haven't actually watched the trailer yet, Johnny. I was already so late to start the stream. I, uh... I kind of wanted just to get into it, so I, I didn't watch yet, but I am excited. We're allowed opinions in chat since when? That's a great question, Molly. Let me just real quick. Okay, any other questions? Any questions, concerns, comments? Um, Broadswords is a pretty good pickup right now, even if it falls off. It's not bad for Juggler, but I think maybe even with Juggler here, we might just not even play the Broadsword on it the heck mm. wait there's a captain character apparently broadsword for twin coverage I, I, I it might have been in this win streak it's so long ago I don't remember at this point I had a run with twin where I had broadsword and uh, ornate hilt and it was really good that was a sick combo boots of speed here no we don't go boots I'm pretty sure no one here wants a left side replacer. This is a tier 7 item. We need we need some direct impact right now. It's either broadsword or a random. I'm pretty sure it's broadsword. You click boots? Really, Voix? You're a boots believer here too? I don't know, man. Like, you know what? Actually, for roulette, I think more so, maybe I'm playing out of fear here. I think Boots of Speed are actually really good against Hydra right now. Because having the extra reroll should mean we get a lot more cantrip hits off here. Which will make me much more happy about killing Hydra probably this turn. I think that's enough for me. And we put it... You put it on Bash? Where does it go currently? You put it on Knight. You go Caldera? Really? For the, for the, the Cruel side? I love the Cruel side. The cruel side's so good. I guess it is a single use though, huh? I think it I think it's Knight or Caldera here. We do that is true, we don't Oh oh my god, we have Compass. Io, you're actually a brain genius. I forgot about Compass. Holy shit. Oh, get this shit out of here, dude. Look at this. Get rid of one of our exert sides, maybe. We can get rid of a mana side. This is extremely good. This is a sick ass character. This is this is pogged up. How can I forget about Compass? Mm, I don't think that's what I said. But you know what? True. If it stays on night for now. That's what I said. Mm. Okay, I'll take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. We just have lethal on Hydra. I think, you know what? I think I'm going to start listening to Voigs for once in my life. We could try to go for a little bit of extra juggler value here, but if we, like, I don't know, double X ourselves here, the run ends, and I will probably just never live it down. So I think we just do this instead and be pretty happy and move on with our life here. Uh, This is not a bad side to have here. Stunning the demon's pretty good, too. Let's try again. I'll settle for the two damage. We'll roll this again here. Okay, Surgeon is just rolling three heals, huh? Is this six damage on recoil? Oh. Let's just do this for now. Stop the summon. Should have lethal next turn. Juggler's wearing a top hat. 
You know what? I didn't know what this was attack bomb. I've never actually taken a close look at what a juggler is wearing. I would if you if you had asked me, I would have said like some sort of weird bonnet. I think you're right. I think it is actually a top hat. Hold on, enhance. Oh, I can't enhance here. Hold on. Enhance. Juggler. That is a top hat. You're right. That's crazy. Mm. You don't know what's wrong with you. All you wanted to do today is play Bellatro. Voix. I wasn't watching the stream super actively, but we did hear you constantly complain about Bellatro during the last stream. Are you okay? Do you need help? You seemed miserable. You got your fucking balls crushed for five hours. You just want to go back? That is interesting. Mm. This is not an artificer angle. Wait, mimic, not twin. Oh, sorry, you guys. I you're. This is a conversation that I missed the beginning of. Never mind. Um. Are you talking about the, the new characters? I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Maybe it's a bowler hat. It could be a bowler hat. I don't know. I did, I've never. I I don't look at things closely sometimes, so I don't know. I I, I think it's got to be a dancer angle here. They're both. I think honestly, pretty pretty bad here. But I, <laughs> Artificer can hold the rings plus glove. Yeah. We can make a, a wand of rejuvenation on this character. That is not wrong. That is true. Absol, you're back. How was your trip? That it, it is true. It is a, it is a, a better heal. You're not wrong. We're not wrong about that. Okay. The Troll King is is spitting. I don't love. What are the odds that we can get a stun on King here? Pretty much zero, right? I don't hate stunning the Caldera here. We have no cleanse currently on this team, which is not good. Let's just take Rampage here. I'm a, I'm a little, this is not a good start for us here. I'm a little bit worried. We could just actually not go for the stun, I suppose. Hmm. You can do this into this here. Put a block on like you for now. I think I like Scald here. And I think we burst just so we can get some empty chalice value for once in my life. Why did I lock Rampage? I wanted the AoE damage for uh for Scald. I thought that was a pretty good line for us that turn. I'll take 7 Exert on Troll King here. That doesn't seem too bad. I do not want to dodge. I do not want to dodge. Okay, how close are we to killing Troll King? How, how close are we to murdering this man right now? It's pretty close. It is not too far off. I think we're supposed to maybe just... No, we can't even triple burst you. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We could just save Surgeon here, maybe. Something like this. I think we let Knight die here. Can we let Knight die here. Maybe we can... Oh, we can't get an operate next turn. This is looking a little iffy. Rip to a real one? I think he has to die. You know, I think this is a lock ignite exertion situation, but that's just you. I don't know, man. You get like a... You get like a, a defense. I guess we... You know what? I guess we have the blood amulet. With blood amulet, I'm convinced to tr maybe try to roll one of those instead, actually. And the three damage from the exert is not super valuable this turn. We'll see. Okay, we'll get the shield. It's not terrible. I think we survived the turn with this, but... Gotta do something pretty janked up like this, pretty much. 
which I do not like doing. And we still exert the Troll King. Hmm. We probably put the heal here as well, I think. Because you know what we can do, probably? We can just do this. Which also sucks real bad. Or I guess we can do first. This is like the same line, pretty much. It's the same line, but we're more balanced with the healing, I think. And we've killed the we've killed the the, the statue, man. The slate. I think this is fine. But this is this is very scary still. This fight is so gross. The immediate poison was not good for us, for sure. That caused some real issues today. Um We really need one of these shields, man. One of these big heal shields off of the off of the night would be very good here. We don't get it. How close are we to lethal though? Hmm. We could stay at three here. Johnny, what am I waiting for? I am waiting. You still have those five keys you can do a giveaway for 3.0's release. It was three keys, but I still do have them, actually, Johnny. I'm surprised you remember. Yeah, I still have... They're, they, I will say, they're not for Steam. They are for the, the, the itch.io uh, store. But I do still actually have those. Uh, I, th I think we get a pretty reliable kill this turn, and we can hopefully recover from this. It's fine. We're very poisoned. That is lethal. Okay, goodbye. Three is coming to itch. It is. It is. I I imagine people are are just because they want to play the game on Steam are more interested in the Steam release. But I could definitely, you know what? I will. I, I'll probably give the keys out tomorrow. Listen, I'm not. I do know. I'm not. I'm not trying to say I'm jealous or anything. But I do know that that Voyage got some Steam keys and Tan kind of never really came to me. It was like, hey, do you want some Steam keys? And maybe he knows I never gave away the the itch itch keys. So maybe he's like he's like you know maybe Tan's like he didn't give away the last key that I gave him. But I still have them. They should. I don't think they expire. So I can give those away for sure. Serration, Sapphire Ring is pretty good here, but I think it is a Serration angle for sure. I do agree. I do love me a good Serration. It can do some pretty messed up things. And I think you put it on Bash here. I think I think five damage serration on Bash here is pretty good. It's not good in this fight because we have zombies. So it's whatever. What's the curse? The curse is add wisp right now. I know it's hard to tell because the fight already has two wisps in it. But uh, yeah, that is the current fight. I guess is there a world where we put this on Knight here instead? Like nothing, nothing survives a hammer. So there is just no reason for this combat to have it on Bash. There's at least some logic to having it on Knight here. We could get a uh, Serration hit. Well, maybe actually, you know what? Dan no, Dancer's not even funny. Dancer makes sense here, Io, because A, Dancer has a three damage side. So if a, if a, if a, rogue, if a rogue dagger hits the zombie, Dancer can get a lethal on it now. Knight can get a lethal on it with an Exert side. I think it actually makes more sense on... Uh, on dancer here i think it is actually the correct play um that looks pretty good to me what about compass serration dancer well the compass is currently on caldera to block one of the damage uh one mana damage sides which i think is pretty good um how do we feel about like i guess we do this oh does this not get serration on it hold on am i am i crazy am i just a silly guy why do you not get serration? Add vulnerable to top and bottom sides. Tar oh, because it targets. It says specifically in the in the text for vulnerable that it's it's the target takes uh, the thing, and this is not a targeting a targeting dice side. So that could have been cool, but unfortunate. That would be so strong if it worked, though. That'd be crazy if you just keep rampaging and keep stacking on more and more vulnerability. If you get like a single rampage hit, the fight ends. 
which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think this still goes here. I think this still goes here. It's pretty fine. I do not hate this. And this is pretty scary, but if we just roll pretty well here, I am not worried at all. I am not worried at all. This is actually pretty good. Ooh, there we go. Your favorite dancer build is buffing Rampage with Valkyrie's Death Defy and then going ham repeatedly. What did I... I'm sorry, my bad brain. You have to forgive me, bad brain. The the Rampage run I had recently with Dancer, did it have Valkyrie to give Death Immune? I don't remember what I did to keep Valkyrie alive during... Or what I did to keep... Uh, what's his name alive during that? Dancer. <laughs> yes. Molly, thank you. Get the poison out of here. Guess we just kill wisps this turn. I don't know, whatever, right? Seems fine to me. Ooh, bash! The, I, I, I didn't realize the pain. I, I should have taken more account to who's getting pained here. This is kind of annoying, actually. It's kind of not good for us. This is pretty good. Okay, D Dancer, you did vulnerable the wrong person, but that's fine. Dancer, please. Come on. Come on, Dancer, let's do it. Son of a bitch. Um, We can maybe get some Scald value in here somewhere. I'm not sure how we would do that exactly. I guess just this. Hold on. Oh, oh, order. Order lull, as someone rude might say. And zombie runs after this, even though we don't get the kill here. Okay. Listen, I like Granite as much as the next guy. It's a Warlock pick here, probably, right? We just want big numbers and damage and all that good stuff, and Warlock does do that. I'm pretty sure it's Warlock. Do people like Granite? I like Granite. I like. I think Granite is the w worst of the good gray tier threes. I think. I think that is fair. I think that your gray having a shield bash side is just generally weird, right? I think that uh, you know, redirecting is cool, but you do really just want shield output. And most of the good grays do just more raw shield output, right? Keeper has the five steel sides, um, and the and the repel sides as well. I think repel on your gray is just better than repel, or uh, I think repel on your gray is better than a shield bash. Um, so there's that, and then you know yada yada. You get you get the point. Here the compass of details is warlock uh, compass self heal viable. No, because the middle doesn't. I mean, it's not unviable. It's it's actually probably pretty good here, but it'll it'll. I think it goes in a circle. So this already has self heal on it, but one of our pain sides gets self heal. That's pretty good. That's not a terrible combo for us. Um. Right. This is this is this is worth doing. Grant is your favorite angel fire of the character because he is an OP with it, and it's funny to see him eat a, a plus twenty. Attack bomb, I've had that happen recently. It is fun and funny. It's not, you know, it's not as OP as Valkyrie with Angel Feather, obviously, right? But it's still pretty good. Now, where do where do the boots go right now? Probably I think it now is just time for the knight to hold the boots. When the pristine's working is great, but it's not that important for us. Angel feather valgaz. True. Okay, this goes on Bash now, by the way. I almost forgot this has to go on Bash here. <laughs> please. Please, Bash, I need you to kill this Spike Man. Pretty, pretty, please. Um, Maybe in this fight we wanted on Dancer here too, but I don't think so. We, we actually, no, we definitely don't. We want we want to get a... Oh, we, we lost our... We lost our Caldera. We can't Scald anymore. I was going to say, sweep damage into Scald would be very strong this turn. But... Not in the cards for us anymore today, unfortunately. Okay, let's run this. 
Okay, not a bad first turn here, damage-wise. It's all pretty spread out. Dancer, please. Please, I, I beg you, Dancer, do not hit the Spiker again. Okay, this is pretty good. Dekeka, hello. In the cards, more like in the dice. You know, I've always said this guy was true and based. Do we... Hold on, can we... Hold on, let me think for a moment here. Can we do this into this? Oh, we can. Okay, that's better. <laughs> we should do that instead then, I think. Oh, this is annoying though, too. Oh, wait. Hold on. This is still annoying. Whatever. It's fine. We win next turn. We don't have the super min-max here too much. It's fine. It's a little slow. You know what? We should just do the correct thing here and, and re-roll Dancer for an actual attack. But whatever. You said in the server, but the Steam releases license dice could make OBS streaming recording easier. You do know it's Finicky, Finicky from personal experience. You haven't had much trouble. It can be a little weird, Voyx, I feel like. Not too much. What I do, Voyx, is every day before I stream uh, Slicey or record Slicey, I just uh, go to full screen and then, I, and then I end full screen and then it makes it the correct size for me. So that's what I do. That's my general plan. Um, Can I be honest? I don't love either of these items too much. I guess Charge Hammer is like kind of fine. I think I, I think I prefer Charge Hammer over the Exert side on Bash here. So it's not a terrible upgrade, but that's not a huge difference, I feel like. And we're just going to be bashing Surrey every time anyway. Hear you out. Just take the Tyranna item. I, I'm kind of tempted to roll it and see what happens. Um, Where does Helm go today is the real question. Helm on Warlock. The problem is that if we do the pain side, we can't get the, you know. If we do the pain side with Compass, we Warlock dies, which is not great. Tier 10 items suck. Don't fall for it. I, I think, I think Charge Hammer is better than weight, a Helmet of Power here. Where does, where does Helmet go? It goes on Dancer. Oh, great. It goes on Surgeon. Meh. Warlock with the Bloodlust side is, is just two to four, which is not terrible, obviously. But I think Charge Hammer over Bash is better. And we also just have good mana generation. 14 Exert kills all the chumps. I don't want a 14 Exert, man. That doesn't seem like a, a game-winning... I mean, it's not terrible, obviously, but it's not a game-winning strategy. Especially, uh, like, bosses. I'm, I'm most worried about a boss right now just kind of crushing me. And Charge Hammer, with the amount of mana we can generate pretty consistently, seems pretty good to me. On Bash, specifically. So I'm, I'm pretty convinced this is the right pick here. And then Empty Chalice goes on to my Cool Knight. Actually, probably goes on Dancer right now. And I'm sure this would be great. I mean, it is good against Demon and Saber. Although, against Demon, you're taking that, that, that Hellfire damage right back, which is not good. You feel you want the hammer on Dancer? For this combat, I'm pretty sure we want the... We want the... The, the Rampage here. That is a good point, though. In the in the final boss, we definitely want it on the Dancer, actually. That's, that's actually... I'm pretty sure 100% correct. Right, but in this fight, we definitely because we have the bloodlust mana side, we definitely want to have dancers rampage side still here. I'm pretty confident at least we want it still. Maybe that's wrong. Okay, we do just get to immolate one of these basilisks, which is pretty cool. Probably the weakening one. And then we can just go like this into stun. Oh, you're a bird. I thought you were a basilisk. Sorry, sorry, my apologies. Go away. We have to do this. Probably just hit one of the birds too, right? Seems pretty safe to me. And then... The Suck Wand's pretty good this turn. I don't hate that. Knight is pained. I don't love this here. Let's just look at things. Let's just, let's just analyze for a moment. 
This is this is the one thing that I I feel like I just basically never did back when I was playing the old Slicey. I just never like paused to see like how good my first roll was. If I had like a roll that I thought was like kind of meh, I never just went and like saw like is this actually pretty good here maybe? And it's not terrible. Right? Disco, hello. How goes the Slicey? It's going pretty well. It is going pretty well. You can just dodge here too. I think this is an acceptable turn, honestly. We maybe try to high roll a little bit. We still on the streak, Johnny. We are in fact still on the streak. We are we are still kicking. Definitely give me these. And this does kill the call here. You can go boom, rampage. Oh, the fucking, oh, the basilisk, dude, no. Frick you, buddy. That's yeah, whatever. Is this run number 25? This is run number 26 right now. If we win this, we do, by the way, we win this fight at least. This is, this is run 26 if we win. We are tied with Voyix. And it's Mimic versus Paladin. I think here's got to be a Paladin take here. How are we feeling in general about this right now? Hmm. I put these damn boots somewhere. I do like this line as well still. Although with all the enemies, maybe we do want the cleave. Boots on Warlock? I don't think so. I think if anything, maybe boots on Bash here. A 7 exert. Like, if it was a 14 exert, it was pretty good before on, like, the demons maybe sometimes. It, I don't think the 7 exert's too good here, especially when we have these sick, nasty uh, 5 bashes that we're looking for. These, uh, the, or not the 5 bashes, these 5 vulnerables we're looking for. Right, like, like here's the thing. Right, we, we, if we roll an exert side, even if I have one reroll remaining, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep rolling for, for the, uh, for the, for the bashes. I'm fairly confident that that's the line for us here. I also really like four cleanse versus uh, Hexia's four petrify sides here. So that makes a lot of sense too to me. I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty, pretty good. There's an argument to be made. How do we? How do we? How do we feel about? The bloodlust side being the one that has the healing on it. I don't hate it either way. I don't know. I think I just want to try to counteract the pain. I think just like the fact that it it you definitely no matter what get value up out of it. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> Molly feeling terrible about it, truly awful. <sighs> Cursed. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think we're fine here. Although, Hexia rolling the big pain size here around one is kind of spooky. I'll take a heal here. I don't think I'd take mana here, actually. I think I'd take this. I just want a shield on the Paladin, I think, man. That's pretty good. Okay, we, we, we prevent the cleanse, or the, the, the pain. That's pretty nice. That is pretty good news for us. Do this. Oh, you know what? If we had... Oh, you're dead? Hmm. I guess that's not terrible. Burst is pretty close to lethal there, too. If we kept the mana, we would have killed Hexia this turn with a with a blaze. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big oof on my part. But I'm I'm pretty confident we just win here next turn. Like, I kind of like I'm I'm just kind of like saying like how do we lose this? I feel like maybe it happens because the the bash is gonna be pained. But I'm I'm pretty sure we get the dub with this. Okay, this is all very good stuff. Kill Hexia first. 
as if you got a very rad hammer dagger build and uh win in backpack battle backpack battles but that's good glad to hear i've got a pretty good uh slice and dice run going right now looking like it might go all the way Maybe we just we just do a defensive burst here to make sure if we roll the other pain side on on warlock he can still do it um, and then we still get the empty chalice value because empty chalice is where are you at chalice? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. No chalice. I put you on the I put you on the dancer that, that I feel like that makes sense, but no. Oh well, whatever. Okay. We can just out heal these these goons. I'm pretty sure. We do not have to sweat it too much here. I will take this Oop. and kill you. Ah. Yeah, kill you. You have four mana left. Put a block here. I guess you just burst down the wisp here. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Again, we're the fight's over. The fight's over. We won this one. We don't have the super min max this here. It would be it would be crazy to lose in this position. I don't know how it's even possible. The math on that's got to be pretty crazy, but there we go. Very cool. We've done it. Well, we've, we've done 26. So, of course. Hey, where is he? Where is this fucker? Don't tell me he got a 27 streak. No. Where is he? Where is this son of a gun? Let's see. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Went right past. There he is. There he is. Let's go next, right? <laughs> a a back to back ad wisp. You shouldn't have slice and dice. You shouldn't have. That's so nice of you. And with like an actual, I'm, I'm not noticing too, like a, a all star team as well. It is kind of just going off for us. Okay, Ruffian. Ruffian may be actually a little bit of a weak link here. I think we'll be fine. Mm. Just kill the Wisp here. Put this here. We can't, we can't, unless Archer, unless Lost, I mean, rolls the, the sneaky poison attack, we can't get a kill on Archer preemptively. So we're going to have to get through the Goblin, but it shouldn't be too tough. This dude just said all-star team to Ruffian Alloy. Yeah, but like, it's it's pretty good though, still is the thing, Voix. You just wouldn't get it. I'm pretty happy with the team. Oh, look at this, look at this. Are we Hold on, we, can we actually do this? We can. This guy doesn't even know what an all-star team looks like, man. Look at this shit. Look at look at me go. I'm gaming. <laughs> that definitely wasn't the optimal uh, order, <laughs> but we got there. Enchanter with cultist is tempting, but I'm fairly positive this is an unbelievably easy glacier pick here. Listen, I understand the 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 you know the enchanter reformation is here, but we shouldn't take an enchanter based on having good synergy with our tier ones. I kind of the, of the mind right right now. My thoughts on Enchanter is pretty pickable if you have at least one good tier two character that synergizes. Right? We might not see that. We might not see a Berserker. We might not see a Fiend. Yada yada, etc. Right? So, I think here it's a pretty it's a pretty easy Glacier pick. And we'll be fine. Uh oh, Alloy's dying. Who's killing Alloy the most here? Probably the crone, huh? I guess it's technically the boar, but they're both. I, I, oh, this is not as great. Hold on, that's pretty good. I think we're just looking for like a shield for Ruffian right now. Try again. That's actually pretty good. You do like a a pain into a kill here. Oh, but I'm I've goofed. I've goofed it because I, I can't actually save Alloy. Okay, well, in that case, can I somehow kill Boar here? I don't think so either because of, the, of the, the stone health. 
That's unfortunate. Um, I think Alloy just goes. Not a big deal. Is a little annoying though, but whatever. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, I suppose? Um, nothing too bad happening this turn. This all looks pretty good to me. Okay, what do you think about... Ah, you know what? Never mind. This one sucks. Disregard. Voyx, I want to hear what your idea was. Hmm... Can we just chill you and pass? What was the, what was the line that you saw, Voyx? Ally goes, she goes, she goes, guillotine. I did like the part where you said yeah at the end. Dude, you know what? You know what's funny, Voyx? The other day when we were playing Fortnite, Kamoi was making a whole bunch of Death Grips references. And I felt so fucking inadequate. Because she was like making all these cool references and stuff. And I was like, I don't know that much about Death Grips, actually. I'm kind of a fake fan. So. There was that. Is it? Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. I have a line. Wait, hold on. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Uh, disregard. We need, to, we need to burst on, on Ruffian at least once. Oh, wait, oh, wait, no, we do, we have a line. We have a line. Easy. Easy. Easiest game ever. Uh, big heart. I don't fuck with big heart here. I'm pretty sure it's a random tier one. You're not a fake fan, you're actually a hater. Damn, this guy hates. What the hell? Is Smokey Bear just here? You just Google them because you had no idea who Death Grips was. You might like their music, Molly. I don't know. You 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 did like you did like Hot Shower. I feel like a lot of Death Grips' music is equally as abrasive as Hot Shower is. One of them you could argue is like more artistic because it's like intentional. There's like intent and design. You know, it's on purpose. And one of them was kind of an accident. <laughs> But, you know. Who can you finish the league game? Hello? Who can? How are you doing? How, how was the league? By the way, I you know what? A hot take. Hot take. I think Wolf Ears is actually a pretty strong tier one. Right? It's obviously only good in the early game. I should have put this on Lost, by the way, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, it's obviously only good in the early game. But especially when you have a front-loaded curse, like Wisp kind of sort of is, it's 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 pretty good. I'm 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 confident in saying that. It was good you found two trans girls in the wild. That's pretty cool. You should really listen to Hot Shower by this point, the mystery is more fun. It's not going to be fun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say, Kayla, it's not going to be that fun of a listen. I'll settle on you for now, Lost. That's okay. Uh, what are we doing here? I think we are just killing the Wisp. I think that makes the most sense. And then I've got to chill. I might as well chill something. Chill the wolf. That's pretty good. When does Hot Saturday replace Fortnite Fridays? If I have anything to say about it, Dekeka, as soon as possible. I keep I keep saying this, and people keep not believing me. I don't like Fortnite very much. It's like you know, it's it's more about the people and less about the Fortniteing. I I wouldn't say I hate the game. That's a little drastic, but I don't like the game very much. You'd say Peach Scone rivals it? We can't keep talking about Peach Scone, man. We can't. He means you. Voyix, I'm sorry to say I don't mean you. Okay, we do just have... 
there's no dying to poison, so we'll just leave. You feel that about Fall Guys? We talked about playing Fall Guys potentially too, actually. We had, we had, someone had floated, I think it was Cash floated the idea of maybe playing some Fall Guys as well. Which I don't hate. Now, we I don't think we have a quote-unquote Scrapper team here right now. But I think in a vacuum, I still just prefer a Scrapper over Rogue. I know Voyx is trying to be the Rogue defender. And I think he's not wrong in his, in his assessment, but I think he probably also agrees that Scrapper has even is, is a pretty high floor and a very high ceiling as far as what it can output for a tier two. You always play Scrapper here? Yeah, I agree. Even though we don't have like a team built for it right now. And this should also be on Lost. I, I did, I've, three health is more than two health. Were we talking about Fall Guys? Mary, we were talking about Fall Guys. Cash, you caught the stream. You think you definitely click Warlock here? He is right. If Warlock was there, it would be a really good pick. Cash, how's it going? How was work today? Are you still at work? And are you here illegally? Or, or are you back home? Vengeful Dark. Hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome to, I assume, the stream for the first time. How are you doing? And if it's not your first time and you've been here before lurking, that's pretty cool too. Uh, I think I like the, the shield here. I'm pretty sure on ally this turn. Getting some spread shields here looks pretty good. <laughs> it's the 20th for you. Happy 420. Who's going to tell him how the calendar works? Maybe we go chill here. Hit here. And then just kill a wisp. I guess we, you know what? I guess we can roll better on alloy actually right now. But I think we re-rolled out, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. We did in fact re-roll out here, unfortunately. There we go. It's whatever. Mm. Kimoy doesn't watch me. I mean, I don't think so. Maybe she does though, secretly. I don't know. You know what? It, you know what Kamoi does do though, Cash. Kamoi does follow me on Twitter, and I and I did follow her back. And then, I'm not blaming Kamoi for this. All I'm saying is, I followed Kamoi on Twitter because she, or I followed her back because she followed me in the first place because I felt like that was the polite thing to do. All of a sudden, my my Twitter. Although I will say this is better than the average garbage i see on twitter usually right now it was just tons of anime just an insane amount of anime just everything everything i saw was anime basically so that was interesting and she's kamoi i just didn't think the algorithm i didn't think the algorithm would would fucking turn on me so hard that's what i didn't expect Uh, I think the poison side is better than a, than a, maybe it's not. I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys do here? Do you go for the cleanse four? I think if maybe, I mean, the bandit has some poison, but that's the only CC they have. I like the poison, a shot in general. Your YouTube is all Neurosama clips and the problem is you keep watching them. Tragic. Oh, cash, you get an Asian bunny X cash. I knew there was nothing stopping you. Don't worry. No hard feelings. Asian Bunny X goes live. How, like, how do I compete? How on earth do I compete? Mm. Man. It is still a heal four versus a day. You know what? I keep the poison. Loss is here for damage. We need damage. The end. I think it'll be fine. This is good enough, I think. That's not very good. That's very good. Okay. Can we get some sort of sick, nasty overkill to get this man to run away? I think this does actually just overkill enough. Right? It's two damage. There we go.
Okay, this... Maybe I'm crazy. This is the better line here, I'm pretty sure. Voyix, you love Helldivers? Voyix, what's your favorite gun in Helldivers? It's time that someone else had this done to them. Molly's had it had it too bad for too long. <laughs> There's something so unbelievably horrific to you about the concept that she wakes up in the morning and goes, yep, time to strap into the... Into the I assume that's Jiggle Machine? Okay, yeah. Uh... Empire is just pretty good here. I think it's good enough. I don't know. I think we take the... Uh, man. You know, give me Trapper. Let's see how many reds we've seen so far. It's it's probably a long shot it is. But I would not hate to see the Herbalist Trapper combo. We still have the, the, the outs for it. Voyix, have you seen... Have you seen the new meta? Cash put me on to the, uh, the, new, the new Twitch meta, by the way. Which I think is actually genius. Have you guys have you guys seen the new Twitch meta? You haven't seen it? Cash? Send him the picture. <laughs> Send him the picture, Cash, of the new Twitch meta. It is actually pretty funny. Wait, is does he know? Vengeful Dark Vengeful Dark knows. Vengeful Dark knows for sure, apparently. Um Give me Trapper here, honestly. I think I think we can we can high roll probably. Wait, do I have new items? I do. Hold on. There we go. Mm. She's really getting away with it. I think she should keep getting away with it. I think it's very funny, and cool. Maybe double burst into a into a scrapper hit here somewhere. That's a pretty good turn. Unfortunately, Ally takes the next turn off, but I think he'll I think Ally will manage just fine. Mm. Man, she's really bad at Helldivers. How how dare you disrespect my queen like that? There will be consequences to your actions. Okay, this is a pretty bad turn. <laughs> this turn did not go very well for us, but I think we're okay. Mm, I guess we worked the quartz down. I have, I have one usable dice here, game. You know what? There you go, Trapper. Have it. You have composed what Captain and Stoic look like as well. I already know what Stoic looks like. I haven't seen Captain yet, though. Okay, we kill the Bone Boys. Let's so just do this. I don't know. Doesn't matter too much. We win next turn. We don't have to think about this too hard. This one is a foregone conclusion. Okay. It's funny that people are actually watching them for the gameplay. I I think it's a creative workaround for the, the rules, I must say. And I think it's funny. And, you know. What are we taking here? Pocket Phylactery versus Sprout. Sprout, my beloved, I'm sorry to say. I actually looked at this the other day. I don't, I don't know if Voix is here when I did this. I'm sure he'd be curious to see. Tier, or level three items. Phylactery is higher than Sprout for my pick rate. It is the only one higher, but I do love me a phylactery. I do absolutely love a phylactery here, so I'm going to take it. You want to post the command, but it's big. Whole body vibration has been shown to improve circulation in the upper and lower limbs. Wait, hold on. Did I misread that? Whole body vibration has been shown to improve circulation to the upper and lower limbs increases. Okay, I did not read that wrong. It's just, it's just, okay. Oh, why the fuck do you have an 84% sprout pick rate? The last time you watched, you take it, uh, you cast it zero times. I'm so sick of this dude, man. And you know what, Voix? In a in, but a few, but a sh few short minutes, 
You will never be able to, to say I'm wrong again, buddy. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for the consequences of your actions. Oh, this goes on alloy, I'm pretty sure, too. There's an argument for it being on splint here with the single uses, but I'm pretty sure you want it on alloy. Mm. Until tomorrow when the streaks reset. Voix, I did say at the start of the stream that uh, win or lose today, we would still be friends, and that the real competition was 3.0 win streaking. So I am very excited for it. But also, I, you know, don't actually care. <laughs> Aleph, hello. How's it going? Hopefully you are doing well today. I think we just take the bloodlust here because we're, we're low odds of getting like a super high amount of shields here. The competition for your hell mode win begin, begins tomorrow too. CS, it would be incredibly base if you got the first hell mode win. Don't put too much pressure on yourself for it, bud. It's not going to be easy to do, I'm sure. It would be it would be a sick it would be a sick stunt. Let me tell you right now. That would be that would be very impressive. The sprout liberal friend cranberry. True. Mm, day one helmet win is doable. I'm sure it's doable, but like, you know. Ba hell, I'm not trying to say I know what hell mode is or isn't here, but my understanding is that effectively hell mode is just chaos. It is just randomness, right? And you need to get like, you know, you can play perfectly, which is cool if you do, but ultimately no matter what you do, it's going to be about the role, the characters you get and yada yada, etc. right? So again, don't, you know, don't stress about it too much. Have people beaten hell mode? Vengeful Dark? You're looking at one of them right here. Mr. Contagiously Stupid is one of three people who has beaten hell mode. He's right there. If you want, you can even ask him for his autograph. He's really shy about it though, so don't don't get don't go too crazy. Also, Herbalist here, fucking amazing pickup for us. A lot less random than people think. I don't know. He he I think you're just being humble again. I think this fucking guy is just, oh, I'm so humble. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. This goes here. 12 health. Um, With these rolls, I'm actually more inclined to look for a shield bash now. I think we do keep looking for, like, a vulnerability here. That's good, actually, too. I can accept this. That is a fine turn for us. Put some regen there. Pretty good. You heard he lifts 110 pound weights while playing? I've heard that too, actually, Voyix. That's not wrong. I've heard a couple mentions of that as well. Uh, Don't think we want the growth side here, I'm sorry to say. Shield bash, that's what we're looking for there. I get like a vulnerability? No? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm not even, like, upset about it or anything is the whole thing. So that's cool. We definitely go for a chill here, too. I'm pretty sure. You heard he's Bruce Wayne. How did you hear that, Cash? I feel like, shouldn't shouldn't it be his secret identity? Shouldn't you not know that? I You know, if he really was Bruce Wayne. Okay, we vine your ass down into oblivion here for sure. And then we probably just... I don't even... Who who cares which one of you we hit? It's the same either way. Mm. He's incredibly skilled at the, in the art of combat. I have heard he's never lost a fight before in his life. And he's killed a hundred men. <laughs> Okay. We we can just play this slow here. We don't have to go too crazy on this one. You heard he's Patrick Bateman. That I haven't heard, Voyix. Oh, also, somebody just went in my eye. Help. Ah. They're out to get me. They're trying to stop me from win slice and dice. Or from winning slice and dice. Help. God, I, I don't know what flew. I think it was a bug, man. I think a bug flew in my eye. Hold on. 
We definitely whip a Nene here for sure. You run, right? Right, Slimelet for sure here. You leave. There you go. Mm. <laughs> we marveling this shit? I don't think it was Ant Man, but I wouldn't be. I would. Listen, I'm not saying he would do this. But I just wouldn't be shocked. Also, we don't have to talk about this at all, by the way. That's a very easy pickup here. Um, I, I'm not accusing him of doing this. But it just seems like maybe it's in character for Voyix to hire Ant-Man to sabotage me beating his, his PB. It just seems like maybe it's a possibility. Hmm. Beating his hunk? Come on, Molly. I said I this time I clearly said PB. What do you what do you mean, huh? This fight is the demons. It is scary. I think we will have some casualties here no matter what happens. It is a spooky one for sure. We can kill this Soodle though. I don't think we can kill this Soodle man. Oh, come on, video game. Oh, we do get there, actually. That's cool. Okay, we killed the Soodle. The chests all leave after this first turn, right? They all get out of here? Okay. I think we survive after this, but it's a lot of shit happening here. Mm. You keep looking back at the screen, my alloy has more health. You talked some mad shit, Voyx, about my alloy, and he didn't like that very much. So here we are. Also, this is so much damage again, dude. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Scrapper, it's time for you to do something, by the way. He's done it. Okay. This is very good news for us, I think. Potentially. Well, I think we maybe just needed a, a, a Bloodlust here. This is pretty rough, actually. Chester, yep, you know, Io, I'm not going to say that, but I do agree with the sentiment for sure. Like, I don't know, I don't know what we do here other than this right now. And we just have to hope that we can kind of pull through afterwards. Like, maybe we can get Trapper to pull some, uh, some kill shots here. Beyond that, I don't know what else to do. And the Wisps just keep summoning the bones. It is not good for us. Okay, this is pained. I think I think Alloy has to make the ultimate sacrifice this combat. I don't see any other way for us. Let's look at this for a moment. You do get to kill the Soodle with this, huh? Can we save Glacia here somehow? Is it possible? Not really currently. So we do need Glacier to roll better here. Do we do we super need a high roll off of off of Trapper to make it through this combat? I think it's very much arguable. Dude, the Wisp has summoned bones every single combat, I feel like, too. Hmm. We kill here. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out the trapper math here. It's looking so bad for us. You need to go cook chili rice, cash. Have fun. Enjoy your rice. Hopefully it goes well. We might be dead here, dude. We might be dead. And you know what? I'm okay with that. It would it would be a very poetic way to to end the the win streak. Tying with Voyax on the most bullshit fight in the entire game. It's whatever. We take this. I, I I think we have to high roll here. So we're going to go for the kill shot. I don't see what else we can really do here besides that. I think the vulnerability is just too low impact. Okay, well, we got better Glacia value here at the very least. 
we have that going for us here, but it does appear to be pretty Jover for us. Bones plus Soodles with chests. Jeez. Oh, there's the kill shot. Okay. Let's look at this for a moment. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. Oh, we're close to killing that top, but oh, we we somehow might be able to scrap out of this. Hold on. It might, in theory, be possible. We have to do this for sure here. And then we kill, like... We have to kill the top bone to keep Trapper alive, too. And everyone else is targeting Scrapper here. Um... Hmm. Let's make sure there's not a, a more ideal setup here for us. I guess we can just do this. It's the same, basically. We can do this. Oh, that does not. That's not very good. No, we, we kill the one that's targeting the Glacier here. I think this is fine. What side does Glacier have? Is the is the shield? You know what we got? Oh, you know what? The shield does nothing here. We could high roll for two mana instead. That'd be pretty good. What if they all target Glacia and Trapper hits kill shots? Do you think I went out? I think there's a very good chance we can get out that way. I think the shield is worthless here. I mean, compared to one mana. So I think we should just go for uh, a little bit of a higher roll there too. Try again. Ah, whatever. Uh, now, do we save mana here? We, I mean, there's no reason to burst, I feel like, preemptively. Doesn't help us at all. So I, I think I think we just pass the turn. Okay, it was the inverse. They all targeted Trapper instead. Let's look at things. So. You can do... This is not great. It's not amazing. We're very close. Oh man, do we actually put it all? Do we do we put it all on uh Wait, you know what we can do actually? I like this a lot. Oh wait. Does this just, does this just work? Holy shit. I cannot believe we survived this combat. I can't, I mean, first off, we're not out of the woods here yet, obviously. We have to do the next fight with barely any of our team. That's crazy. I, I genuinely can't believe we survived this. Okay, hello, welcome back, everyone. Oh, yo, the cleric? The cleric pickup here? No, it's it's unbelievably a warden angle here. Um, What do we do now? <laughs> I think we put the phylactery on, I guess, Glacia here. I guess Glacia is the best, the best holder of this. How do we feel about for this upcoming fight? How do we feel about the heal on Trapper so we can, like, you know, sort of just try to stabilize here? Hopefully we get lucky. They roll, like, poisons and weakens. But we also might just need the Trapper kill shot, too. Do the challenge? No. No. How important is kill shot in this fight? It does get us to kill the ghost without while bypassing the intangibility, which is very good. Right? That is a good thing. But also there's gonna be a lot of a lot of uh effects here that we don't hate cleansing. We also will always have someone to heal with it, because everyone's fucking injured turn one. I don't know. Warden Scrapper should be able to do that. You would you would hope so. You would hope so. I don't know if they can get there. I think we want the heal here more. That's what my gut's telling me right now for this combat. I think it's a heal angle for sure. Okay. So. Let's evaluate. We can't actually get enough people. No, we can get enough people damaged in theory. 
we can get two mana on Herbalist. We can go like ping, ping, and then kill pretty easily there. Falcon, I'm sorry to say, we do not have a command for the PB right now. We do have the Wrangler command, though. That is very important. Either, either way here, this turn's looking pretty good for us, because we can go heal into shield on Trapper, and he still lives the round anyway. So I like pretty much everything except for Herbalist, and if Herbalist gets the mana, we get to kill the Ghost. Herbalist, don't, don't, please do not, please do not triple growth side me today. Did I beat Voyix yet? That's fine. Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. And maybe not at all. Let's not, you know, let's not count our chickens here. Right, let's be, let's be cautious. What am I, why am I healing Trapper here? He doesn't need the heal. We can just, we can just, uh, I guess put this here. Kill the Quartz. Oh, actually, we should kill the, we should, we should do this, actually. Never mind. I see the line. The line is very simple. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of lines, actually. Hold on. One moment, please. I'm seeing a lot of different lines here. There's one that's way more obvious. It's this. And then we heal, heal. We have one more. We have one more vine left here. I think we probably knock out this illusion that's weakening too. That looks pretty. That looks pretty good to me. I, I, if we make the comeback here, I'm gonna be just so happy. It's gonna be so sick. Uh, we probably keep shield bash here. We should be able to get four damage off on the ghost. You can definitely get four damage off on the ghost here. Okay. And, and oh, you know, yeah, we do it this way. We do it this way, almost certainly. Boom, boom, boom. We might, I can't believe we're going to recover with no one dying. This, I'm just, I'm just, man. Mm. Molly, 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 do not, Molly, please. Molly, do not give cash a gift sub to Asian Bunny X. Please do not do this. You can I mean, you can do whatever you want, but please not this. Please not this. I mean, we can just kill you, I suppose. That's a little bit better. For shit post, you're subbing. Okay, man. I'm just trying to fucking be the best slice and dice player ever, but whatever. Whatever. That's cool. <laughs> It's not too late. You hey, what was that? Vengeful Dark. Oh, thank you for following. Very cool. While you still have a Vengeful Dark, you know what? We I usually try to take more time at the, uh, you know, when new chatters come in to talk to them more about themselves. Hopefully, if you are abreast of the situation right now, I am going for, like, a really important win streak run today thingy. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm kind of in the zone. But, uh, hello. I should I should not be rude. I should say hi to you. And all that stuff. I said hi before, but I want to talk to you more about you, if you don't mind. If you do mind, and you just kind of want to chill, it is no problem at all. <laughs> Sorry you can't do it. Thank you, Cash. Cash, thank you. Okay, pretty bad turn here. Did we just kill a bone? How do we do this? I don't hate this either. Oh, hold on, wait a second. Put this up here. Spiker almost destroyed. Seems pretty good to me. We should have him dead next round. There we go. Oh, Zacian or his hands occupied. That is a that is a pretty good a pretty. I, I you know, what? I give that a plus two. I like that one. Do I want to roll for the Echo side? You know, I, I did forget about the Echo side. You are right. That is something we should be rolling for here for sure. It's our actual best side in our character. I think we'll even just take the dodge on Trapper this turn. Okay. Pain four here. Dodge there. Kill the Spiker. Heal up here. Looks pretty good. You played a run of Slicey, and you had a Venom into Dragon with top three poison. Dragon double poison you, and you uh, ate, like, 21 poison from Venom. 
Please, Voyix, I hope this is a good ending and the Venom did roll the play side and you won. And it's not a triple X U loss angle. Plague obliterated? Okay, I'm glad to hear. It's it's like listen, I think Venom's a very cool character. And a very strong character, generally speaking. You don't need much poison to be strong. But I do think Venom has like a, a pretty high rate of uh, tricking you sometimes. I think sometimes Venom does just trick you into being like, I'm a good character. And you're like, yeah, you are. I know you. This guy's good. And then it just fucking loses the whole game. You got to see what Molly just did. That's cool. That's cool and funny. <laughs> Very based. It was no, it wasn't a tier three. Don't fucking lie to me. It was not a tier three. Also, <laughs> fucking idiot ace over here. Look at me. Look at look at us now. It's all coming together, man. Where do you put hissing ring here? Also, do we do do we do this into this here, do you think? We get the cleaves the echo now instead. I kinda don't hate that. You're a supporter, that's fair. Ventral Dark, you just got the game today. You ran into Hexia not realizing you were relying on mana spells so much. You do have to be careful about Hexia. You have to, you know. You 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 want to try and I'm stealing this directly from Voyix. This is his ideology that I now apply to my runs. Um, you, when it comes to Hexia, you want to do your best to, uh, as you're, as you're going through the game, finding things that will help you against Hexia, right? You usually don't need too much. You just need, you just, you just need like one or two good anti-Hexia items pretty much, uh, or a really good anti-Hexia character sometimes. And that's usually enough, right? Hexia is like, it's, it's weird. It's easily countered, but if you don't counter it, you do get kind of crushed, Whereas the other bosses, you can just usually outrace them by just building your, your build stronger and stronger without caring too much about what you're doing otherwise. You think we risk the roulette death side and keep the uh, the the duck on, on Glacia? I don't think so. First of all, we could just do this and just not play the ring. That's also an option for us here. We can put ring here. We can do this, yada, yada. For juicy seven mana. That's not worth it. <laughs> That's not worth the seven mana here. I think You know what? Actually, I think the problem is, though, I'm going to keep this on Echo or on Glacia. I am now realizing that we have nothing to really reliably Echo with Roulette to begin with, right? We can, in theory, have Scrapper, but not too much. It's Baron. It's worth. Nah, we we're we beat Baron here. I'm pretty confident no matter what we're doing. I, I am fairly confident in this run. You know what's, I think, an interesting line here? I think the Poison Ring on Herbalist is probably better than two mana right now. I think that's definitely debatable. Addition, mm. you haven't played this game in forever, but you feel dumb for not thinking of covering Roulette's terrible side. I, it's not like a high, you know, skill technique or anything like that. It's just, you know, there are items in this game, uh, first aid kit being one of them where it's like, oh, you know, this is here in case you see Roulette. It's usually not terrible, and it, it, there were times where we did like having the first aid kit. But usually, like, this is like a, if I see roulette, the game is basically over item. $5 is worth it for the emotes. Isn't that... Am I crazy? Isn't... There, there's, like a, there's like a streamer who has this Blastoise as his emote. I don't remember what his name is, but I've seen it before. Isn't this, like, copyright infringement? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I guess maybe also it's Snorlax, so Pokemon holds the copyright. You want to say Witwix? I don't know, Dekeka. Maybe. Witwix? Okay, everyone's saying Witwix, apparently. Is Witwix going to sue my favorite streamer? Does anyone know? Um... Need a little damage here, Herbalist, please, if you don't mind. There we go. So this is pretty good news for us because we had to kill a 
ghost here very easily. I think we just break the intangibility. Shield up here. Yeah, this is this is kind of free now. Although I did say the game was kind of free before. And then we saw the demon chess fight, so we'll see what happens. We shall see. Those are a lot of emotes. Listen, the Pikachu Poggies is pretty good. I've seen this evil Squirtle too. I, I think this is copyright infringement. <laughs> I think this is just... Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Maybe she has permission to use them. That's also very much possible. Okay, I think we win this one, by the way. Could have gone for the crack pipe choice to kept keep, keep Trapper Herbalist there and one shot the Baron. It would be not terrible. It's definitely an option, but it's also definitely the wrong option. Would it be cool? Uh, I think it's got to be Silver Pendant right now. Listen, Tentacle, you're lovely. You're great. I actually take that back. I don't think that's true. Uh, we're gonna put this on the Scrapper and be pretty happy about it here. You can do some sick, nasty combos in theory. Definitely take these. Maybe just take the damage here too. Oh, that's very good news. Okay. Uh, I guess kill the Knoll. Get five mana. Put a little burst action here. Nine U. And then... It's, it's looking pretty done for for these guys. I must... You know what? Actually, I don't even want to get weakened. Go away. There we go. And in theory, if, if the Slate had maybe, you know, hit the Warden again, we'd be in a little bit of trouble, but, like, not really. Game's kind of easy mode, honestly. Sort of a, a game for babies. Uh-huh. Well, I guess Gas doesn't really care too much about the... Uh, it doesn't really care too much about the pain from Phylactery here with the plus five mana death. I don't like leader. Yeah, gas, gas gets to come aboard. It's not bad. Unfortunately, we lose that echo value here, but now we gain new echo value because now we have gas dies into roulette goes crazy. And in theory, we can get some, we can get some pretty big steel sides as well here. So I'm pretty okay with this. Okay, Roulette. I think we take this to stop the Troll Cleave. Jeez, we're not going to have much mana this turn, so I don't love Shield Bash. I think we're looking for Bloodlust here instead. Everyone else can reroll. And Cleave 2 is still Cleave 2 here. It's pretty good. Even if we don't get any good Echo Value. Okay, we get some good Echo Value now, which is nice as well. We get to do this into this. Into, like this to this in theory we could just kill the alpha here but this does prevent more damage overall putting the weak in here seems good to me we keep shield bash i like my line i think my line was pretty good there personally Uh, Metal Studs, pretty solid. Trolls Blood, pretty good here, too. I'm happy with the Studs right now. Studs will be bad if we get Valkyrie, but Valkyrie is very good in this team because we have Ghast. So, pretty good here with this one. Pretty happy about that. Okay, how do we do 18 damage? I, I Here's the problem. I just don't think we need to actually kill Gas this turn. Metal Studs Valk isn't too bad. Yeah, it, the Rescue... I mean, Rescue is obviously very strong if you power it up. But I don't know. Yo, we can harvest the Illusions. Ooh, that's really that's really sick, actually. You're right. We can do that. I think we don't kill Gas today. I think Gas gets to live. He gets to stay at Execution here, 
I think. And then we... I don't hate... I don't hate this here. I don't hate getting a scrapper. We should be able to get some pretty good value out of it. Shield Bash is maybe probably better, though, actually, when I think about it more. because <laughs> Oh, no. We're probably going to put the shields on Herbalist anyway. This is all fine. This is all pretty fine and good here. Kill your ass. If we do, like, Vine, Vine... Do we just... I think we just kill the bandit via natural causes here. Maybe this is just psychotic. I don't know. But I, I think we can be pretty happy with this line currently. And I think we leave this illusion. Oh, no. Actually, we kill the illusion. We kill the illusion because... Actually, you know what? Never mind. We kill them all. Please, Vine, help me. This is pretty good. Get the Cleave Echo. Maybe next turn. I, I think I think our team is genuinely so strong we can just do a lot of autopiloting here and still win. Case in point. I know we played the growth in the wrong order. Stay mad liberals. I'm I'm finally getting to not be the liberal today. Already quick cast spells, but isn't it also then like control and then like or shift and a number to target then too? It's like it's annoying, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. For me, meh. So, Roulette's dying. Nothing to be done about it, unfortunately. I will always be the liberal to, to you guys. That is unfortunate. Um, I think Poe is pretty good here. It does mean we unfortunately don't get to see Valkyrie. But I don't think we need Valkyrie is the thing. I think... In the final boss, when gas when it's gas time to go, he'll 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 go quietly, and that'll be fine. And I think actually a better holder of the phylactery is now poet. Po Poet's a pretty good phylactery holder, like an incredible phylactery holder actually. He shields himself with the two damage shield all, so the pain's like it's like not even there pretty much. That's pretty sick. I like this guy. Put this in here too. Poet is such a stud. He does stud hard here. You're not wrong. And then we just go next. Everyone, everyone, though, RIP to roulette. It is tragic what's going to happen here, but nothing could be done about it. I think we're supposed to roll for a shield bash here, too. We get the shield bash. Oh, this is going to be pretty big. Assuming these guys roll some mana, maybe? No, that's fine, though. Medkit off roulette. Absolutely not, Io. I don't want to be rude. That is a horrible idea. Because here's, here's, yeah, I, guess what happens? Turn one, Roulette rolls the med kit, or rolls the death side. Now, Scrapper dies the Tarantis death kill, tr devour move, right? That's really bad. <laughs> that is really, really not good for us. That is incredibly not good for us. Erm, you can't erm here, Ayo. There is no erm. That is just the truth. I'm sorry to say. I hate to be the bearer of bad news here. There is no erm capacity. I'm incorrect. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I think I just weakened the, 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 the hit coming in on Scrapper this turn. That's cool. I mean, Scrapper was looking for shield bashes here, especially because apparently we rolled a cantrip shield on it, so Scrapper just has four shields by default. You think there's Urm capacity? Hmm... You think it's your, it's your fault, Cash? You brought up the subbing to her as a meme? Ooh, that's good. It is a pretty funny meme, though, is the thing. Have you considered that, Cash? Uh, Deadly Bolt is pretty sick with Herbalist. It's basically now just, you know, if was, you know two damage for one mana. Do we have a really good clay synergy, though, right now? Let's look around for a second. Do we have anything that goes just crazy? Clay on Scrapper? It's not terrible. It might be a random here, though. Right, when we take clay here, what we're saying is, is that we're taking another tier 6 item. It's a, good, it's a very good synergistic item. Right now, we're saying this clay is effectively another copy of this. 
I think there's an argument to be made that a random tier 8 is better. And also, there's an argument to be made here that Deadly Bolt is uh, better than Clay. I don't like that because I think Deadly Bolt's only good while we have Herbalist and we're going to probably upgrade Herbalist at some point. I think it's actually a random tier 8 here. Obviously, Clay is potentially a second copy of tier 9s. My, I had to look at it here. Let, let's let's do some analysis on this, right? Let's see how often the average tier nine actually interacts well with uh, clay, right? How often is, is this actually a combo? Not a combo here. Is a combo there? Not a combo here. Not a combo there. It's a combo here, but it's a win more combo. Like if you're going from four to eight, you don't need to go to twelve, right? That's like enough. So it's there. It's not there. Not there. Not, I mean, kind of there, but I don't want to think about that. I don't want to do the, the numbers on there. Pretty good. Nothing. 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 Not nothing, but not amazing. Interesting. Nothing. 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 So I'm pretty sure I said mostly nothings. Or not mo or more than half of nothings there, I'm pretty sure. As far as, as far as Clay copying a potential tier 9. So, is Clay better than... The, or is a random tier 8 better than another silver pendant? I think so. And I, I would also say if we were struggling short term, Deadly Bolt would be very good with Herbalist right now. So if we needed to get through like one or two more fights and, and like see a character we were really looking for, then like Deadly Bolt is maybe an argument, but we're kind of just not struggling right now. We kind of just are cruising currently. Although I guess there's an argument to be made that the roulette died to the Tarantus from the Devour trigger... What's your curse? You know what? No. With maximum of two spells per turn, no deadly bolt time. Sometimes he is just built different. I think this is maybe not immediately better. I think this will end up being better depending on, you know, obviously depending on what yellow we see at the end. But I'm very happy to see this here. Okay, take this. It'll be great for Wanderer. Luke, I promise you, if we see Wanderer in the next champ upgrade, I will take it here. I will throw it all away for Wanderer right now. That would be so unbelievably funny. Okay, we shield bash into Cleave here. That seems pretty obvious to me. I think we're supposed to vine into Harvest here. And then we can just find the last call here, and this is pretty GG. Gather to pray for Brother Brawler. It's gonna I you know what? I I'm I'm uh what's it called? What's it called when you when you want a thing to happen and you think about it or whatever? I forget what it's called now. My brain is bad. You should probably just ignore me right now. Manifesting, thank you. I am manifesting. oh gay, also true. Um, I am manifesting. Okay, well. It is a it is a brawler angle for sure here, like unbelievably. But that's kind of a no brainer. But it could have happened. We could have had it. Okay, there was a chance. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So we go like, let's see, hit here. Hit here. Hit here. Hit here. Hit here. Hit here. At some point, we're supposed to put this shield on gas, too, I'm pretty sure. This is a pretty slow turn, but we're kind of just playing this one safe, and it's going to work pretty well, I'm sure. So, again. Hit. 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 Boop. Boop. And we can't get this one, unfortunately. But we can prep it for a harvest next turn, which is oh we can actually get it. No, we can we can kill you. Never mind, get fucked, idiot. Um, put the cleanse on on poet here. I guess no. I, I, Roulette's taking more damage. I don't care, man. It's whatever. This looks pretty good. Should be able to get lethal here pretty easily. Yeah, that'll probably do it, huh? Although, I'm realizing now that the... Oh, no, wait. Actually, check this shit out. Boom. Look at that wombo. Look at that play. 
Dude, this game is pretty easy. So we would have had Helm of Power with uh with the clay, which would have been pretty funny potentially, but ultimately not that good. Right? It's got to be Helm though over Triple Shuriken. It must be Helm with Ghast. It must be Helm with Ghast. Like, we're not taking Triple Shuriken here. We have no synergies. We are not taking three random tier three items here. That's crazy. Shuriken can Rampage. I guess it can kill Backliners for us, right? Oh, it combos with itself. Oh, shit. Yeah, that is true, though. I'm sorry. Uh, Minioli, also hello. Um, we kind of have pretty good items on the Brawler already. Although it's, it is an interesting theory, for sure. Is true Shuriken? Okay, Shuriken. I don't think it is still. I actually genuinely think that the take here is Helm of Power still. Because you gotta remember, we have this fight and then we have the boss fight. Is, is Shuriken Rampage so crazy? Like, I just feel like that's not... I think, I think the angle on Brawler is to just, like, go for a shield bash. And then just, like, also have pretty good sides when we don't land on the bash. I think that's a much more solid plan here for us. And I think Gas making 10 mana and going to hell also just wins the game. Which boss are we worse against right now? It's a good question. My guess would just be hand by default. I think hand can cause some problems here just with, like, a ton of damage. And I think that the shuriken plan is not very good for killing the uh, the swords. It's going to be too hard on this team to actually get there, I'm pretty sure. Also, okay, you know what? Final thing, final point. Helm of Power on Ghast, and then we have Roulette with the Echo Cleaves. I think I rest my case on that one, actually, and I think I will now just take it. That is enough for me. Should you fix your computer issue? Did you end up extending the wind chain? We're about we're 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 working on it. We're on level 19 to 20 here. We'll see what happens. Um, we can keep rolling these. I can settle on this, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think we're supposed to go like this into something like maybe this here. Shield in the harvest. Put a burst down on gas. Oh, herbals, what are you doing? I forgot about herbalist entirely. Try again, herbalist. Very cool. Yeah, we had Schultz, I had the the biggest clencher of a round I've ever had in my entire life in this game. It was very scary, but we did we did make it so far. We harvest your ass. Burst here. We don't really care about keeping gas healthy because I think there's a decent chance if we roll the the mana, we might just take it here. Debatable though, for sure. We, we pass. Okay, a lot of damage output. It might be time for Brawler to go, huh? Let's look at things here for a moment. Brawler hits. Although, uh, hold on, I'm thinking about things more for a second. There's some problems. Or I, I think, I think we keep everything except for. Well, I think we reroll this. I think we keep these and reroll the rest of them. I think this will be fine. The the weekend on this demon is good. We need to somehow get this hell spark down in a way that makes sense here. Or is it hell? It's hellfire, isn't it? Hellfire. Okay, whatever. Sure, I'll settle on this for now. And then it's the same thing. We can hopefully kill whoever is trying to kill herbalist this turn. And it's the imp upstairs, so that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I guess we can do this. It's mana neutral. And we can do this into this here. I feel pretty good about our odds. 
This this seems like a winning line. And then we He does yearn for death, huh? Hellfire is six damage, right? Okay, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna hang on to this for now. Maybe we actually do it this way. Maybe this is unironically the correct sequence here. Although we should look for a better roll than for Brawler, actually, if we're just gonna I, we should look for like a shield side here specifically. Keep this, roll the rest. I, I guess we roll gas too. Now that we need to worry about like, you know, okay, gas really doesn't want to be here, man. <laughs> there he goes, okay. Okay, Brawler kind of fucked the bag here on this one though, huh? Oh, hold on, sequencing, order, yada yada. Um, Put the poison here. And this is fine. We win this next turn, okay, that's good. We don't have to worry about anyone dying to Hellfire here. There we go. Cool, cool. Level 20. It is the dragon. It is the dragon here, huh? What are we thinking right now? What are we thinking? I think it's a surgeon line. I think surgeon specifically just for uh, operate, pretty much. Because he dies, <laughs> makes 10 mana, we bring him back for 4. It's a pretty good combo. It's a pretty good combo here. I don't hate it. And Wraith just doesn't do anything for us, really. We have the self-shield, self-heal, but we don't need that on this team. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Surgeon Angle. And then the ring, I guess it goes on Gas here. I don't know where else I would put it for now. That seems fine. Gas, I'm really happy to have here because it will do a good job of neutralizing these poison hits. I feel pretty confident here, actually. I think we'll be okay. Is the ring, like, used Frank Ocean ring? It's somewhat similar. You're not too far off there, Cash. You know what I was going to say? We have barely seen it this entire game. I would love to see the uh, the shield all here against the dragon hit. Seems pretty good. And you two can try again here, I think. That's going to be pretty strong. Guys, I think I think we might have this one. I think 10 cleave is pretty good. <laughs> and then we just kill the wisp. We just do a million bursts. I think that's it. I think we get there. If poet rolls the charge shield, it, everything is literally going perfectly. I could not ask for a better run here, I feel like. Put the shield here, cleave another eight. Put some poison down. It's over. Dragon loses. I think hand was a harder fight here still. But we get there. GG. Very deserved win. Voyix, thank you. That does actually mean a lot. I appreciate that. That, I I, I just can't believe we, we scrapped back from the, uh, from the fucking demon boxes. And now we do it. We submit. There he is. There he is. Anyway, everyone point and laugh. Don't point and laugh. Do not point and laugh at him. He is my friend. And uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys want to do now? We're, it's over. Slice and Dice 2.0 is done. We're not playing another run tonight, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, 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 fuck. Say hi to YouTube. Shit, this is going to go on YouTube. Hey, YouTube, it's me. I'm the streamer and the YouTuber. Anyone else want to say hi? Here's your chance. Here's your chance now. Hello. Mary, no, that's fair. Toucan, you're going to sleep. Have a good night. Have a good one. Thank you, thank you. Oh, man. Voyix, you you popping on? I mean, it's obviously a little while before you pop on. What do we do now? Someone comment telling Cash to stop talking about cock rings. Voyix, I'm cutting the video off before that. I'm not letting you stop, Cash. Okay, yep, that's it. The video's over. It's just me doing a little outro here before we wrap up. Um, I guess just, I don't know, closing thoughts on, on 2.0. It's an incredible game. It's really good. I'm sure 3.0 will just only make the game better, which is pretty exciting and cool. I, I think Tan has just done an amazing, fantastic job with the game. 
And uh, I look forward to seeing what's next in it. It should be good and and cool. And I, I do just want to give like maybe a quick shout out to Voyux too. Like maybe you know he's not gonna watch this far into the video, so I don't have to worry about anyone telling him this. But uh, I really I really appreciate him. He's a really cool guy and uh, one of my at, at this point pretty much probably just one of my closest friends, which is which is cool. And uh, yeah, don't tell him I said that though. He's my cool liberal friend. Anyway, uh, have a have a good one. And uh, yeah, goodbye.